Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Now today what I want to do is show you 10 must have good luck modules to help you customize and super power your Samsung Galaxy phone. Now there's a lot to cover in this video, so let's just get right into it. And the very first thing you need to do is install the GoodLock application. Now this is available on the Galaxy Store and you can think of GoodLock like its own app store with all of these modules in here. And all of these modules have a different purpose. They do a different thing and they just help you customize and improve the functionality of your phone. So we have a makeup section here, which is mostly focused on the look and customization of your phone. And then we have a life up section, which is mostly focused on operational things like creating shortcuts and giving more functionality to a lot of your applications. So the very first thing we're going to talk about is the theme park application and this is under the makeup section and essentially theme park is what will allow you to customize the look and feel of the icons on your phone. So you can go to this icon section right here and by the way any of these modules if it's your first time using them when you type into them it will ask you to install them so you do need to install all of these individually even after installing GoodLock. So just go ahead and do that and then once you do just tap into them and now you can start customizing your phone. So under the theme park section, this one essentially focuses on customizing your icons. So what you can do is go into this icon section here and then tap create new. Now from here, what you can do is actually change the default shape and color of the default Samsung applications. So you can see that by default, these Samsung applications are a little bit squared with rounded corners. But if you don't like how that looks, you can actually make them completely round or you can make them, you know, any of these shapes down here and just change the look and feel of them. You can also change the color of these. So maybe you want them to be orange. You can tap OK and you can see that they will all turn orange. Or what you can do is actually select an icon pack. So if you've installed any icon packs from the Play Store, like you see I have, you can actually apply these through here. So I have this crayon icon pack here and I did a whole video on this that I'll leave linked in the description below that you can check out. But essentially what it will do is apply the icons from the icon pack to your phone's icon. So when you've applied the icon pack, all you need to do is just tap download and then give it a name. So we'll just call it whatever just for now. Tap done and then tap OK and it will install it to your phone. And there you go. Once it's installed, all you need to do is tap on it and then tap apply and it will apply this icon pack to your phone. And now you can see that all of the icons on our phone are changed to the icons of that icon pack. So this is pretty much how you would customize the icons on your phone without installing any third party launchers. All right, guys, moving on to the next good lock module. This one will allow you to customize how many icons show up in your quick settings. So you can see that I have six up here and I think by default it's set to four or five. But if you want to have more options up here, you can always change that. And to do that, what you need to do is go back to your good lock application and look for the quick star module. So click into here again, you'll have to install it if it's your first time using it. But when you're in here, you can see that there's an option here that, that says show quick button grid. You want to be sure to enable this. And then when you go to your quick settings, just scroll down twice and then tap on these three dots up here. And you'll see an option here now that says button grid. Tap on that and you can see here we can now change how many buttons show up on our grid. So I believe by default it's set to four and you can always change that to five or six if you want to see more buttons. So just drag that around until you get the settings that you like. Tap OK and that's pretty much it. Now you have more options up here so you can easily access any of your quick settings whenever you need. And another cool feature of this module is you can see if I swipe down on the right side, it brings down my notification shade. But if I swipe down on the left side, it'll bring down my whole entire quick settings menu. So I don't have to swipe down twice every time I want to access any extra features. Now to set this up, just go back to your good luck module and then go to quick star. And in here, you'll see this option that says open quick panel directly. And you see that if I swipe down from this side, it'll open up my quick settings. Whereas if I swipe down from the right side, it'll open up my notifications. And of course, you can always swipe uh, swap these if you want these to change. All right, guys, now this next good lock application will allow you to customize everything about your lock screen. So you can see I have this folder down here that when I tap on it, it will expand this tray of all of my favorite applications. So I can quickly tap on them and then unlock my phone and it will take me directly to that application. I don't need to unlock my phone, find the application and then launch it that way. I can do it directly from my lock screen. So definitely a really useful feature. Now to enable this, you want to go back to Lockstar, I mean good lock and then install the lock 
Rockstar module. Now, when you do that, you can see that we have two options here, one for our always on display and one for our lock screen. So we're going to go into our lock screen and now we can customize everything about our lock screen. So we can move the clock around, we can reposition it. We can also tap on this little uh, icon here and it will allow you to change the actual look of your clock. So maybe you want something else, maybe something more colorful. You can tap on that and then you can resize it to your liking. And then when you're ready, you can just tap back and it will save it. You can move your notifications around. So maybe you want your notifications uh, maybe up here instead of down under the clock. You can move your media player. I like to keep it down low. And then of course down here, we have all of our quick apps. So if we tap on this, you probably have the default one, which is your phone and your camera. So this is probably what you have, what your phone looks like. But if you want to change it, just tap on this and then you can tap on the apps in here and it will allow you to choose from all of the apps that you have installed on your phone. So I've selected all of these ones because these are the ones I use most often, but you can go through your phone and select any applications that you want. You can have a total of six. And once you're done, just hit apply and then save your new configuration. And now when you go to your lock screen, you can see that we have our new configuration. We have that new clock and all of our quick shortcuts to our favorite applications are down here. So again, we can always just tap on it, unlock our phone, and it will take us directly to that app. Now this next good lock module is probably my favorite one because it makes using your phone one handed so much easier and it's called one hand operation plus what it will do is put two bars on the side of your phone which you can swipe from to take different actions so you can see if I swipe down diagonally it will take a screenshot if I swipe down diagonally and hold it will open up my action center if I swipe diagonally up it'll open up play store if I swipe up diagonally and hold it will open up my galaxy store and you can do the same thing from the other side you can see I have all of these mapped as well now to set it up again just go to your good log application and then the module is called one hand operation plus it's actually under the life up section you can see it right here one hand operation plus you can see we have a left handle and a right handle and we can go into here and map any of these to take any action that we want so let's say we want to change what diagonal up does just tap onto here and you can see just how many options we get it is crazy how many things that we can map this to it can really make using your phone one-handed so much better you can rotate your phone you can turn on or off the flashlight you can lock your screen show your edge panel record the screen take a screenshot there's just so much you can do and you can even start a specific application so if you tap into here you get a list of all the applications on your phone and you can select whatever you want it is really incredible it just makes using your phone one-handed so so much better all right, now this next good lock module actually works really well with One Hand Operation Plus because it will also help you use your phone one-handed a little bit better and it's called Registar. And essentially what it allows you to do is map back taps to your phone. So when you go in here, you can see there's a back tap section here and we have a double tap and a triple tap. So if you go into here, you can select any of these options, but I have my double back tap to open a pop-up window, whereas my triple tap will open up my stow card application. And I really like this because a lot of times I'm at the drive-through and I need to quickly pull up my stow card to get my rewards programs for Tim Horns or Aeroplan. I can quickly just do that. And then if I back tap, it will just open it in a pop-up view and help me multitask. And another really useful feature of the Registar module is you can map certain actions to your power button. So you can see when I tap and hold my power button, it will turn on my flashlight. And what I really like about this is it will even work if my phone is off. This is really useful and I use this pretty much on a daily basis. And to set this up, all you need to do is just go back to your Registar application and you can see that there is an option here that says side key press and hold action. If you tap into here, you have all these different options and of course you can always launch a specific app. But I really like this flashlight option, so definitely go through here and set this up to your liking. Now the next good luck module is called home up and a few things that I like in here is if you go to home screen, you can enable this apps list and what this will do is create priority apps. So you can see we have a priority app section up here and this will populate with all of the apps you used most recently and they will just stay up there. And we also get vertical scroll on our apps drawer. So instead of having to flip pages by like it is set up on default, on your Samsung, all your apps will just be here and you can vertically scroll. You no longer get those pages, which I don't really like. And then if we go back here, we also have this option down here that says hide icon labels on your apps. And what this will do is just get rid of all of the descriptive text under your icon. So if you like that minimalistic look, 
you can enable this and you can see that there's no more text under our icon. So definitely a nice feature if you like that minimalistic look. And then we can also go to task changer and change the layout type of our background app. So when you open up your background apps, you can see that everything is uh, organized like this but you can actually change it to grid or uh, grid and you can see it will look like that you can have them stacks and this kind of looks like the iphone you can have a vertical list or a slim vertical list now this one is really nice because you get to see a lot of your applications in the background all at the same time this is definitely a useful feature ju that just makes accessing all of your background apps a little bit easier all right guys now this next module is the sound assistant module and there's a lot in here that you can change but essentially i'll go through a few things so you can see that my volume panel is got this blue color and it looks probably a little bit different than yours so you can change that in here make your own volume panel colors so go into here and there's a whole bunch of different themes in here. So you can just select whichever one you like and apply it. And then if you go to the one above that, you can actually change the look and feel of the volume panel and the volume slider itself. So you can change which side it's on. You can move it around if you want it in a different location or you can show and hide the actual volume itself. And then you can go to the expanded panel and then customize it a little bit here as well. So just set this up to your liking and then we can go back to the... Um, sound assistant settings and here another option we have is we can change the step volume so when you increase your volume you can see that mine goes up by 10 uh, at a time so from 90 to 100 uh, and that might actually raise or lower the volume a little bit too much for your liking so you can actually change the slider to go down to maybe five and now you can see when we change the volume it goes down by smaller increments so if you find that you know every time you're changing the volume it's changing it a little bit too much you can change that here all right guys, now this next module will allow you to change the look and feel of your Samsung keyboard. So you can see I have this purple and green theme and it looks really nice. I really like this look. And every time I tap on a key, you see I get this really cool effect. Now to set this up, what you're gonna need is the Keys Cafe module. So go into here and then enable style your own keyboard, tap into here, and then you can scroll down and you see we have all of these different themes to change the look of our Samsung keyboard. So I went with this purple one, but you can choose anything that you want and then apply it. Then you can go to this effects tab and this is where you change how, uh, you know, the effect that you see when you tap on a key. So we have all of these different effects that you can choose from and it really makes just typing on your keyboard a lot more fun and kind of interactive. And then we have the sound option down here and what this will do is change the sound of your keys while you're typing. And I set it to this retro touch sound one and what this will sound like is those really old school keyboards that you might have seen in movies and it just makes your keyboard feel a lot more fun to type on. All right, guys, now this next module is really useful for screenshots because I don't know about you, but I often take screenshots by accident. But with this module, we get this little trash can icon here. So if we ever take a screenshot, we can just delete it right away without having it go into our gallery and then going to have to clean it up later. Now, this module is called Nice Shot. So if you go to your life up section, just install Nice Shot. And in here, you'll have an option that says add delete button. So just enable this. And now every time you take a screenshot, you'll have that delete button. And then another option down here that's really nice is you can enable do not disturb every time you're screen recording so this is definitely really useful if you're somebody like me and maybe you're creating content or for whatever reason you're recording your screen you don't want to suddenly get a phone call or a text message or any notification that you maybe have to block or you don't want somebody to see this will just put your phone into do not disturb mode and you will not get any notifications while you're recording your screen all right guys now moving on to the final module for this video is called camera assistant and there's a few options in here that can just help you change the look and feel of your camera so there's a picture softening option here that you can change between medium and high and also just make your pictures look a little bit softer if you find that they're a little over processed and you don't like how the pictures are coming out of your phone's camera you can change that in here to make them look a little bit more soft and then we have these two options down here so quick tap shutter if you enable this you can then go into capture speed and you can change the priority from quality to speed now, one problem that the Samsung S23 has that a lot of people are finding is shutter lag. So when you take a picture and you hit the shutter on your camera, there is a small delay between when you hit it and when it takes the picture. Now, this can be a problem for some people if maybe you have kids or you're in a moving environment and you're trying to take a quick picture of the moment, but it happened to move and you didn't get to catch that moment just because of that shutter lag. You can alleviate it a little bit by changing the priority from quality to speed. 
but if you don't want to completely sacrifice on quality you can do a balance between speed and quality and that should definitely help you with the shutter lag on your phone so if that's a problem that you're facing on your samsung phone you can definitely go into here and change these capture speed priorities to help you get a little bit of a faster shutter speed and get rid of that shutter lag but there you go guys that's gonna do it for this video of the 10 good lock modules that you should check out i hope you enjoyed if you did be sure to leave a like subscribe for future videos to come and i'll see you in the next one peace